there is a way that what seems right seems right unto a man and appears straight the road is not straight <laughs> but based on what the man is seeing it is a straight road hallelujah like a drunkard when a drunkard takes eight bottles of beer he can see this door right here is that true based on his perspective the door is here and he will go convincingly now whether or not he's right will be shown shortly praise the lord he can see a gutter and according to what his eyes is seeing he's seen a staircase right and he reaches to that gutter and with every sense of conviction he will attempt to climb only to find out that the light he saw was darkness now the bible says that there is a way that seems right many people have different ideas in the body of christ in the secular environment across our territories we have our ideas about the path to success we have our ideas about the way to know god more is that true we have our ideas about ministry how it should be we have our ideas about marriage we have our ideas about prosperity we have our ideas about the will of god about rapture about the coming of christ about satan so we live in a society where we have ideas in the body of christ for instance we have different ideas about god different ideas about the realities of the kingdom and these different ideas and perspectives have shaped our doctrines and our convictions hallelujah in the secular environment we have different ideas about jobs about our work there are those who believe that working is an insult is that true there are those who believe if you are not working you are not yet a man or a woman you are still a child we have all kinds of ideologies but the bible says there is what a way it seems right unto a man but in the end look at it the dangerous part of it is that it is in the end that you will know whether you are right or wrong you see why it is dangerous imagine brothers and sisters that you took a 10 hour journey or 12 hour journey to lagos and you followed a wrong road and after 12 hours you meet is a military man on the road and he says where are you really going and he says sir the truth is lagos he said ah you are at the other side of this nation so it will take you at least 24 hours 12 hours to retrace your step back to the beginning and hope you don't make another mistake are you getting what i'm saying everything looks the same it is time that shows what is true and what is false when you plant a crop both the grass and the real plant all look the same in most cases but when you allow time it will show the difference all of us right now are here we can jump i am successful oh the holy spirit is working with me the life of god is in me i'm committed to the kingdom i'm an ambassador we are all speaking the same thing but time will prove those whose convictions are sincere genuine and solid and those who are just following the crowd in the name of meetings or koinonia or ministry there is a way one of the things that intrigued me i i remember then when i was in secondary school you know we wanted to make it so much every subject that we had to study we took it very seriously and um, i did find arts and one of the things that that surprised me very much in fine arts was a topic that 
our art teacher taught us called perspectives. Right? Perspectives. It was a very interesting subject for me. Because when we were being taught that um, lesson, we were taught that there are many ways of seeing the same thing. Is that true? And they called it what? Perspectives. So when we were given assignments, they will tell us from so, so, so perspective, draw this building. Praise the Lord. There were certain informations that if you stood from that perspective, they must be represented in your drawing. Is that true? And I enjoyed it so much. But then I got to find out that that mindset was not just in fine art alone. But that it was a revelation that was applicable in life. Perspectives. Everyone say perspectives. That it matters your interpretation of life. And everything around you is dependent on the perspective you are seeing things from. Are you getting my point now? If we ask an artist to stand on one side of this building and draw outside, we may just think that koinonia is a meeting that occurs outside. Is that true? Based on what the artist is drawing. That was the information that his eyes could pick. He may never have the opportunity to draw that there is a feedback here. And then when we ask someone to stand from this viewpoint and draw it, my goodness, you would think Koinonia has been held in a stadium. Perspectives. So it is possible, please listen to me, that a man can stand from a plane and see life and believe that that is all there is to life. Are you getting my point? And be so convinced about your perspective that you will argue with any other person that is seen from any other perspective. It's one of the biggest problems with the body of Christ. And so, a man of God can stand from one perspective and look at life and all he sees is prosperity and success and increase. Are you getting me? And a good life and a great life and from his perspective, that is all there is to the Christian experience. Are you getting me? And then the Christians in places like Iraq and Iran and the Israelis will stand from a perspective and see that the life of faith is a commitment where you pledge your life and pledge your blood. It can cost you your life. This is their perspective. Are you getting what I'm saying? And to them, it may not interest them so much when you are teaching. This guy here is teaching, I have come that you may have life. Is that true? And have life more abundantly. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be poor. Whereas another person, looking at the same truth from another perspective, begins to speak and say, for me to live is Christ. And to die is gain. If it will cost me my life, so be it. Yet another person looks at it here and he sees ancestral causes and he sees yokes and bondages and based on his perspective, he's seen that life is a serious warfare before you are born and until the day you get to heaven. There is a fight and this is his perspective. Now the trouble starts, hear me, when we begin to believe that our perspectives about spiritual reality is the ultimate perspective. You see where error begins to come in. When we do not realize that the best that any man can be is an effective member of the body. Hallelujah. And so I'm here. This is the perspective I've seen. And now I look at the person in Iraq and I say, this guy does not have faith. If he had faith, guns and bullets will not enter his body. Whereas there are all kinds of security men taking care of me here. Are you getting me? I live in a house that is secured digitally. And these guys here 
are speaking and say, Lord, help these people not to be carnal. Let them not miss heaven. Let them know that heaven is more than tea and bread. Yet we are all supposed to be believers. And then there are others. Watch this. That this is not even the object they are looking at. They are looking at something else. Are you getting my point now? They are not even looking at the perfect law of liberty. They are looking at something entirely different. And from what they are seeing, they fish out all sorts of doctrines. So they are not even here. They are not even here. They are not even here. It's not different dimensions of the same truth. This is what the Bible calls another gospel. Are you getting my point? I marvel that ye are soon drawn into another gospel. And all of those people will come together under an umbrella called Christianity. We believe we are worshipping God. We believe there are all kinds of Christian sects, for instance, in this country. Is that not true? There are generally acceptable sects. There are controversial sects. There are other sects that people say, uh -uh, this one is not even an issue of controversy. But everybody, when they say, feel your form, Christian or non-Christian, you, you all strike Christian. And the Bible says, there is a way. Everybody said, there is a way. Now, the trouble is, everyone is being taught and fed by one or more of these avenues. And it is important that you get to a point in your life. This is why you find out, have you seen a family where they have five members and all of them attend different ministries at different churches? Have you seen the commotion that happens there? During things like fasting and prayer or, or maybe Christmas or New Year or something. Everyone comes with his perspective. Why are you spending 20,000 naira on clothes? Somebody said, because Jesus died for me. He didn't die to make me suffer. And the other person is saying, oh you, oh boy, who taught you this? And the other person is saying, continue. The day there's no food to eat, it, my doctrine will make sense. And this other person is now speaking and saying, you guys are not pressing into the things of God. You, you are religious. You, you are carnal. We are spiritual. We are always walking with angels. There is fasting and prayer. Are you not seeing that Jesus is coming soon? There is global evangelization. Souls must be won. You are talking about clothes. And all this confusion are happening in the same house. The Bible calls it a great house. But in a great house, there are what? Not only vessels. There are, there are many. They are all vessels. But the Bible says there are many vessels. And God did not hide it from us. He said some are unto honor. But some vessels, although they are vessels, the truth of the matter is that they are unto dishonor. He said they are vessels of clay. It starts from there. The first vessel is what? Clay. Vessels, but clay. Something made them that way. They have refused to transit. They believe that that clay is gold. And that is their conviction. But the Bible says there are vessels of wood. They have moved from that realm of clay to being wood. When fire comes, it can burn them and they can become ashes. But at least, they are vessels of wood. And then the Bible says there are vessels of silver. And then there are vessels of gold. Are you not, are you seeing now that in the body of Christ, vessels are not the same? It is called a great house. The Bible gives us the parable of ten virgins. They are all virgins, meaning they have been spotless. Is that true? So it's not talking about believers and unbelievers. 